Presumptive U.S. President-elect Joe Biden has revealed some of the men and women who he wants to fill key national security and foreign policy roles from January next year. Watchers say the picks reflect Biden's pledge to have his cabinet reflect the diversity of America's population. Our Kim hyo Sun has more. Joe Biden, the presumptive president-elect of the U.S., named the key members of his foreign policy team, nominating trusted aide Anthony Blinken to lead the State Department. Blinken served as Deputy Secretary of State and Deputy National Security Advisor during the Obama administration and has close ties with Biden. Biden has also tapped Linda Thomas-Greenfield, who held a senior diplomatic post under the Obama administration, to be the ambassador to the United Nations. Biden, who has pledged to undo President Trump's America First policies, has named Jake Sullivan to be his national security advisor. Sullivan was a deputy assistant to Obama and senior policy advisor to Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's campaign in 2016. Biden announced that John Kerry, a former U.S. senator and the 2004 Democratic presidential nominee, would become his special envoy for the climate. He also chose lawyer Alejandro Mayorkas to head the Department of Homeland Security, entrusting a Cuban immigrant to help reverse Trump's hardline immigration policies. Former Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen has been chosen as Treasury Secretary, a historic decision that could make her the first woman to lead the department. Biden's picks also reflect his campaign promises to have his cabinet reflect the diversity of the American population. Biden's transition team explained in a statement Monday that the nominees are highly experienced, crisis-tested leaders who are ready to hit the ground running on day one. Now Biden is readying an administration and preparing to be sworn in on January 20th, despite Trump's refusal to concede, as well as blocking the government from providing the support which is normally given to a president-elect. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News.